Hey, how's it going? And today I wanted to give you an explanation of what the overlay is for and how useful it can be. I didn't understand what it was for the longest time and it finally clicked what it is. So another way to think of the overlay is just as layers. So if you have a program like Photoshop, you know how you can put things in layers. That's exactly what the overlay allows you to do. So you're thinking like, what would I use that for? Well, you could use it for making your, your menu very functional. So let me give you an example of that real fast. So let's just go into this first person. I'm just in the first person template right now. And let me just create a user interface real fast. So let's say I have, I'm developing a user interface and I have only so much real estate on the screen, right? And so let's say I want to have different messages appear, but I want them to appear in the same space. And how could I do that? There's only one space. How can I have two things in one space? Well, that's how you do it is by using the overlay. The overlay allows you to layer. So just like you can turn one layer off so another layer can show through, it's the exact same concept. So let me just go ahead and get a canvas panel here and drag this onto the scene. The canvas panel gets a bad rap. You don't want to use that many of them, but one per screen is not a problem. I think the issue is people don't want you using a canvas panel if you're using a bunch of them, but one canvas panel is should be fine. It's just when you have multiple ones, but this is how you organize everything really. And then the other thing is, if we come to an overlay now, we'll get an overlay and we'll drag this down. Now think of the overlay as a layered area, a section that where you can layer things on top of each other and then make those layers visible or invisible, and then you can have multiple text in one location. So let's let's do that. So I'm gonna get some text and drag it onto the overlay, and then I'm gonna get some more text and drag it onto the overlay. So now I have two items occupying the same space, but of course only one can show at one time. So how can we use this? Well, let me just name this one. Let me make this a variable, and I'll call this text one. And then the second one, I'll call this text two. And then let me put some text in here. This is a long line of text to illustrate the overlay. So you can think of this as basically being on, let's say layer one. And then this one is, this is a test of the overlay system. So basically you can think of it as I have two layers now and they're right on top of each other, just like in Photoshop. And so, and I wanna make this a variable too. So we can compile and save this. So when you're here, it just looks like a big old mess that you got. And in a certain sense it is. Now if I come onto the overlay, collapses, I should be able to drag this right into the middle of the screen. So it's, you can almost think of it as a mini Photoshop because <laughs> it's just in layers, but we can control the layers and you know, what's visible and what's not visible so that even though we have multiple items in one location, we can let them show through. So anyway, let me go into the graph over here real fast and compile and save this. And then we're just going to drive this off of a keyboard event. So I'm going to drag my text one and get it. And I'm going to drag my text two and get it. And then I'm going to make a keyboard event. I'll right click and go keyboard one. So when I click one, and then what we're going to do is we're going to set this text. Well, it's already set. So I don't even really need to set it, but I'll set it anyway. I'm going to set text here and I can override what I wrote you know so I'll write welcome to the world of overlay it is very efficient for managing space okay and then we can plug this into here and then for this one, because we have two things in one space and it'd be just a big old mess, we're just gonna drag off of here and go visibility, set visibility, and we're gonna set this one to hidden, like that, and go compile and save. And so all I need to do now is just add this to the viewport. So let me just do that real fast here and right off of here this is the event begin play we'll go create widget here we'll set it to our new 
widget blueprint, and then we're going to drag it off of here and add it to the viewport. Right there. And just hook that up. So this should illustrate the point now. So if I hit play, you see how the layers are just overlapping right now. It's kind of a big mess. Well, if I click one, watch what happens. Just the one layer showing through now. So even though it's two items in one space with the layers using the overlay function, you can manage your space and put multiple things into just one location. So anyway, I hope that sheds some light on what overlay is. Take care, have a great day, and I will talk to you next time.